Hey, in this video, we're going to take a look at Metricool, a product that's going to allow you to tie together all your social media posting, your reports, your history, your analysis, and even Facebook and Google ads. So stay tuned as we dive in deep and take a look behind the covers. Hey, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. And today I'm going to take a look at this product called Metricool. So, kind of a cool name. I see a combination of metrics with cool. And, you know, I like metrics and I am cool. So, this is a good combination. But what really attracted me to this platform is that it, it, if you're doing social media management, it has kind of everything in one package. It's got analytics so it's going to give you reports of what's working and what's not it's got the whole planning so the whole concept of posting and posting strategy and i, I think it has evergreen posting but we'll take a look once we get inside uh it's got reports if you have a need for that but what really caught my eye that's different about this product is ads so in addition to all that if i look here you'll kind of see that it's got the ability to within its platform allow you to create and manage and optimize your google and facebook ads and that's pretty cool i've looked at some other tools that do facebook ads and i looked at other tools that do google ad optimization like adzula for example uh the facebook ad creator that we've looked at in the past was uh, the campaign maker Dot com and of course for social media posting we use social b social b uh dot io i believe uh so all this looks like it just combines all those platforms into one now let's take a look at their pricing before we jump right in and you know me i like the usd so pretty reasonable i mean i actually i would have expected this to be even a little bit higher uh pro 5 represents five brands 10 brands five accounts 10 accounts so it, it, you know that's 12 bucks a month for five pages five twitter i mean that's pretty good and if you're just a really small you look at the free it's pretty useful as well and then you can kind of see as i scroll down it i see the one the one thing I, I that concerns me a little bit is they have so many features here and there's a lot of complexity that you kind of have to figure out but they got this list is still going guys look at this a lot of stuff here a lot of lot of lot of things to, to to take a look at here so i'm gonna go ahead and sign up for a trial if it lets me and we're gonna take a look behind the covers and see what takes place and you know i got a feeling i probably had to hook up one of my social media accounts we'll figure that out as we get to it so let's go ahead and david at techsmartboss.com give it a simple password and let's go and that's my little remember password uh, manager. I'm not going to remember this one because this is just for trial purposes here. But I do recommend you use a password manager. And I really do like remember as one of my favorites. All right. We sent you an activation link. All right. Let's, uh, I actually happen to be logged into my Google email. Let's see if I do have it here. And there it is, complete your Metricool sign up. And let's verify our address. And let's go ahead and get going here. So it looks like it's taking me directly in. Uh, not seeing where, um, well, at least I could tell from the URL here. I don't see where it's going to ask me for password again. Nope, I'm activated and I'm already in. So now, I, you know, just first glance, you know me, I like attractive dashboards. I like attractive style sheets. Just look, look a little, you know, a little homegrown here. Uh, I'm not as impressed with the with the style sheet, but that's that's really simple for a you know a company to fix. So I'm not I'm not worried about that. Let's go ahead and I'm working within this empty brand. It looks like now, and I see where I could add a brand. I just clicked on empty brand, and a little sluggish at the moment. But what I want to do is go ahead and add in. Let's see what we want to add in. Let's add in a Twitter account. And you can see here they got Google My Business, which is a nice integration. Facebook ads, Google ads. I can even create an account, which is really nice. I got all my Facebook stuff, my Instagram stuff. So let's go ahead and connect to Twitter. And see what that opens up for us. And I'll uh, put it in my Tech Smart Boss. And I'm going to actually, well, actually, I'll tell you what I can do. I can go ahead and 
copy that pass. See how nice that remember is? That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's go ahead and sign in. And now it'll authorize me and bring me back in. And there it is. Okay, so the brand now has uh, my Twitter account there. Now what can I do? Let's start clicking around on some of this. Uh, evolution. Don't really, that, that name of a tab doesn't mean anything to me. But uh, let's see what is under evolution. I, I see a dashboard with um, what, what will be some metrics. There we go. They're loading in from my Twitter account, my followers, number of tweets over time. Look at this, three tweets, four tweets. See, that's what I recommend you guys do about four, three to five a day on Twitter. And that's what I do through my various posting. Follower balance. You know, interactions, mentions, and things like that. Ranking of tweets. Got some likes on my Story Chief app tweet, one of my cool tech of the week. And then what's down here? Competitors that you would add yourself. Okay. And then I can see that for this particular brand, I can also go back in and add additional connections. And now what's web blog? I didn't really see that. I can connect my blog. Okay, let's let's uh, let's go through and do that. Just uh, okay. It does want you to go ahead and put in a plugin or add some tracking code. We won't do that for now. But that's that's pretty. I thought I was just gonna put an RSS feed there, but that, that it's doing some stuff there. And then that's where I can go back in and add more. Okay, so I see that. I still don't know why they call that evolution, but that's what it's called. Real time. Let's go into real time mode. Now this looks like where I can, uh, what am I doing here? Hashtag tracker. Now I did notice on the pricing that this was extra, this wasn't included. There it is, $9.99 a month where I can track any hashtag for 24 hours on a social network. So, you know, this this is good for hashtag discovery, kind of see what's working and what's not. Let's see what this is. It's looking at this hashtag here, SSMW20. And... A lot of tweets there and I can let's see is at the end of the tracking period see if it's the end of the tracking period so then that same similar type of dashboard we looked at can kind of show me how that hashtag is performing so in, in, in the concept of staying in tune with what's happening and then kind of piggybacking on that concept I can see where that could be useful for you real time tweets 36 tweets where in no, real time what does it mean it looks like it's still doing historical the last eight days and I can look at my interactions and I can look at my best friends who are mentioning me and do all that kind of stuff and it's loading in some stuff on my followers so again you know I'm not necessarily seeing the difference between the evolution and the real time and the messages so I think they have a concept of social inbox so I think that, that, that this is a lot of potential there from a social inbox perspective. All right, let's 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 keep it moving. Planning. Now this looks like where you have your social media post and, and planning calendar. So I can set up a new post. I only have Twitter there. Pick my date, time range. They have a built-in shortener from what I understand, but... You know, I think they're going to add a whole lot of integrations there. And uh, I'll just testing the met, Metro, Metrical product for an upcoming video. Subscribe. I can't type today, guys. To my YouTube. I'm just going to keep this real raw. always know what your YouTube URL is. All right, let's uh let's go ahead and get that to go out in the next 10 minutes. Boom. Save. And there it is. Post it there. And then the history, let's see if it pulls in all my old history or just the history. Yeah, just their history. What's auto list? Uh says create an auto list of posts and set the Okay, so this is sort of your evergreen. They're calling it auto list. Now, I say evergreen, I'm not sure if it'll recycle through them, which is true evergreen, but uh, I believe it will do that if you wanted it to. I'm just uh, making a guess on that. If not, I'm sure they're going to come out with that. And then there's my Instagram. So there's your planning portion. Again, style sheet is it's not sexy, guys, but it's, it's, it's efficient. And if it works well, 
then the sexy can come later. So I'm, I'm okay with that. And then this is the ads. This is really what I like is the ad, uh, how you can go in and set up your, looks like your Google keywords, connect to that. And, you know, I'm looking at starting to do some ads and it's a, it's a daunting, daunting thing to get into. So anything that makes that easier, I'm all for. Let's go back in and take a look at what I got under account settings. And just regular basic stuff here. Let's see under settings. Yeah, nothing nothing too fancy under here. And I'm in my trial and I can, of course, upgrade based on those things like that. All right, guys. So quick look through. Take a look. I, I say this is a product to keep an eye on. It has a lot of potential. And I think that uh, if they continue to add and refine and, 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 and really listen to their community, this product will be one that you really want to watch because it has a good price point and it has some really good features that you don't see in your traditional buffers and hoot suites and social bees. As I mentioned, they're combining a couple of products together in their vision. Hey, if you like these kind of videos, then go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put these out all the time. And then go out to techsmartboss.com and check out everything else that we're doing. All right, let's move to the next video.